With Zen Connect and the Zeiss Zen Core software, you can overlay your images from different microscopes and other data sources and use them to easily locate regions of interest as you move between instruments. This video will show how to use Zen Connect to use a camera from an external source as a navigation image with both optical and electron Zeiss microscopes. First, we will be taking an overview image of our sample with a cell phone camera. However, this can be done with any type of camera. Next, we will move our sample to an optical microscope. In this example, we are going to use the Zeiss AxioZoom V16. However, any optical microscope within a motorized stage that is running ZenCore software will work. While you can always correlate your images using a microscope without a motorized stage in ZenConnect, you will not be able to use those images for navigation without a motorized stage. In the ZenCore software, select free mode and use any of the acquisition workbenches to take at least one, but preferably three images of distinguishable points of interest on your sample for alignment. You can use any one of the acquisition workbenches to take these images, including tiling and extended depth of field. If your sample does not have easily distinguishable points of interest, you can use indications placed on the sample using a marker or scribe, or consider using the shuttle and find holders with fiducial markings instead. Open the Zen Connect workbench and you will see that the alignment images you have taken have already been positioned relative to the sample on the stage, so the images taken with this microscope have already automatically been aligned to one another. Next, use the Import into Current Session tool in the Load File workbench to add your overview image taken with the cell phone camera into the Zen Connect session. To align the camera image with the images taken with the microscope, select it in the data tree and click Align. There are multiple ways to align images in Zen Connect. The default way is with the alignment handles, which allow resizing, translation, and rotation. Other options are selectable in the drop down menu at the top of the screen. One tip is to start with the alignment handles and left click and drag the corners to resize the camera image and then left click and drag from the middle of the image to translate it. If you need to adjust the view window, you can scroll in or out with the mouse wheel or click and drag the wheel or middle mouse button to translate the window. Roughly align your image and then select the translate, rotate, resize and shear option. Align one easily identifiable feature and then right click to pin that location. Left click and drag to resize and rotate to align to another feature, and then right click to drop another pin. Finally, left click and drag to adjust for any shear. Shear is usually only present on images taken at an angle and may not always be needed. If you need additional control for your alignment, you can add the Connect Alignment Workbench, which also includes options such as Flip and Mirror. Click Apply when you have finished the alignment. If you want to change whether a layer is visible or the order in which the layers are presented, Go to the Layers view in the image tree. Clicking on the eye icon makes the image visible or not. Click and drag the image to change the layer order, and then you can also adjust the opacity of the image below the data tree. Now that your images have been aligned, you can use the Zen Connect workspace to navigate on your sample by selecting the arrow and left clicking on the image where you want to move to. Your active frame of view is indicated by the red box and will change as magnification changes. Any additional images you take will be added to the ZenConnect workspace automatically and aligned with the camera image. You can indicate regions of interest that you want to investigate further using the ROI tool in the ZenConnect workbench. Click the rectangle to draw an ROI and then use the pencil icon to rename it as needed. Continue using the arrow tool in ZenConnect to navigate around your sample. Collect any regions of interest with the acquisition tools. The images will be added to your ZenConnect project and aligned automatically. Use the ROI tool to add any additional regions of interest. When you are done collecting your images from this microscope, the easiest way to move your session to the next microscope is using Zen Data Storage. To do this, simply save your data to the archive. If you do not have Zen Data Storage, you can use the Export Zen Connect Project tool from the Save File workbench to export the project to a folder that can be moved to the next microscope using a network drive or external storage. Prepare your sample as necessary and move it to the next microscope. In this case, we use conductive tape to adhere the sample to a stub for examination in a Zeiss EVO scanning electron microscope. Open your work from the previous session in Zen Core. If you have Zen Data Storage, go into the Browse Results and open your project using the pencil icon to edit it. Or open your Zen Connect project from the Load File workbench. In the Zen Connect workbench, you should see your previous session.
Open the ROI tool and you will see any previously saved regions of interest. Click New Session and then use the Acquisition tool to acquire a few images with easily distinguishable points of interest using the new microscope. Once you've taken three alignment images in the new session, select that session in the data tree and click Align System to align the current session using the same methods shown previously. Click Apply when you are finished. Now you can use the Zen Connect workspace to navigate on your sample. Double click on a previously drawn ROI to move to that location. You can also use the arrow tool to drive anywhere on the sample by double clicking in the desired location. Continue capturing images using any of the available detectors. The images will be added to the Zen Connect workspace and aligned automatically. Thank you for watching this training video on using Zeiss Zen Connect to navigate your sample using images from multiple sources. For additional information about aligning images from non-Zeiss sources such as EDS maps or exporting your Zeiss Zen Connect data as images or videos, please see our other training.